Oh wow, this is the chest. Uh, it looks to be in very good condition. Yeah, we're gonna do some cleaning. And I'll try to show you the process if I can. Yeah, we have some things that we need to fix, but can't wait. Okay, this is my commission piece with a chest um, that my client wants brought back to life. So I've cleaned it, but oh my God, there's so many layers to this project. I don't know if you can see, yeah, these metal pieces. I need to find a way to clean them thoroughly. And I'm going to change the color to, I think there's one here. It's also all around the chest anyway, to um, antique silver. But what I want to do right now is use the Dixie Bell mud in white. I don't know if you can see, it. yeah, to fill out these grooves and dents all over the chest. Uh, I'm going to let it dry. And I'm going to sand it down very well. So I'm going to apply the mud to the um, piece and higher than, of course, the wood. So that when I sand down, everything is level. I wipe it down with a um, lint-free cloth. And then I will apply what is called a boss, the Dixie Bell boss. And that is going to block, you know, the color because it's white. So that when I stain... The white does not come through. I'm gonna apply much of, um, maybe two or three coats of the boss to block um, smells, color, and or whatever. I don't want it to the white that I'm gonna use to turn to yellow later. But let's start this journey. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's see if you can see these holes in here. They are on actually I think three sides of the chest, and then. On this side also i'm gonna try and see if i can use this mud to um fill it out fill you know fill it and then sand it we'll see so let me start i'm gonna start at this end just apply it generously She wants it to be as smooth as possible. Wood, you know, naturally has groove, so I'm gonna try and keep it as. But there's some dents that are just not the natural wood. It's just been through. The piece has just been through head and back. This is a very old um, chest. So the previous owners have. Um, done some stuff to it. So we're going to leave this to dry. 
I think I'm gonna wait. Um, I'm gonna wait 24 hours, not just eight. I'm gonna wait 24 hours to arrive with a dry because I've done some. I I wait, you know, the time and the directions, and then when I go to sand, everything falls apart. So I'm gonna wait longer than the recommended time. I'm gonna take my time with this project. It's not my piece. It's my client. So. I'm gonna make sure it comes out right, right? So, we're gonna do this. Yes, it is time consuming, but I love it. That actually stuff is thick. I actually prefer it to the wood plaster, I think. It's easier to work with. Yeah. Big growth, you know, to build that part of the wood. So it can smooth and straight. Okay, I think we're done for now. So today we're going to be walking on sanding out the patchwork we did on the chests so we actually sanding down the material to make it level with the um chest okay so make it the same level this is a patching compound that i'm sanding off gently to make it level with the chest so it's, by the time we're done adding the boss and the stain, it will look like, you know, everything was well. This is um, 80, 80 grit sand paper. I'm using this tool I found at Walmart. This makes it more handy for me to actually get to the parts so that I want to sand, you know, and I'm sand. Because this is kind of abrasive, right? So it helps me sand out. And I'm just going to sand it until it's level with the chest. Because I did the compound higher than the chest so that I'm able to sand until I get what I want. See? Level, you know, all the holes. And I'm, yes, I'm wearing a mask so that I don't inhale all the particles. They are right, this dust is just flying all over the place. Okay, so I've done the, um, sanding I did by hand so now I want to use the machine to just um scarf I'm supposed to use the the 80 grit but I want to use the 120 because this is my first time doing this and I don't want to destroy I don't want to destroy the um chest I'm going to use the 120 grit to just sand it down because I'm going to stain okay so once I'm done sanding I'll wipe down with a damp cloth <laughs>
like a whole different piece, but can't wait to stain this. Ready? Watch the lights. Okay, so I've delivered the chest to the client and it looks so good. It does. Um, I, I have to say, I really like it. It came out well. 